Uh, Mr. Ellis, you said state funding for education is inequitable, but more money is not the answer. You said, how do you intend to make schools more efficient? I want you to answer that, and Ms. Bruner, I want you to follow up uh, and answer it as well, too. Right. The done. efficiency is important because we can keep on throwing money at it. And from a school board trustee, you know, we, we look at that, and we know that resources are needed, but not necessarily just throwing good money after bad with all that. It's not so much how much you spend, it's more how you spend it. And that's what we as districts in, in, in my school district and all across the state have to do a better job with. Ha, Mrs. Burner, for, for you, how, how do you make school more efficient? School districts well, more efficient? those uh, statistics that I quoted that we're approaching 50% of our children in special programs, those special programs are very expensive because their, their classes are small and you have to provide a classroom for them. We need to do good teaching up front so that we don't have to remediate them. And what I've been telling parents and what I've been hearing from them and they're agreeing with me is that we need to give the kids a good foundation and if we do that we won't need all these remedial programs. They're very expensive. One of the candidates that ran for the state senate said when he's elected we will have uh, mandatory classes for three-year-olds. Well, let me tell you, if you do that, my I have early childhood training, and I taught kindergarten for 10, year, 10, uh, 10 years. When you have three-year-olds in school, then uh, that's going to be very expensive because it's going to require a teacher and an aide very small number. I don't know what that would be, but I'm saying it might be 10 or 12. Well, what's, your, what's your thought on, on these comments here? When you talk about pre-K education, and the research shows that it's beneficial with that, and if you came to me and said, you know, maybe I don't think that's a good idea for a cost analysis to say how much would that cost, I think that's a good conversation that you and I could have a conversation with. But when you say that we shouldn't do pre-K because our teachers are teaching a homosexual agenda to the children, I think that's a whole different vantage point. Dr. Ellis, you know, uh, Mrs. Bruner has, has said that, that she wants creation taught in science class and, and that her views represent those of the district. You know, are you Christian enough to represent this district? Yes, I am. And I've taught Sunday school and Bible quiz in my church for 20 years. Um, and I believe that it's my responsibility to teach my faith to my children. Um, the, the, the catch of when you get religion in school is whose religion is going to be taught. We have, yes, ma'am. Well, when we only teach one theory, it's a theory. Theories are unproven. But in the science class, if only one theory is taught, then we're teaching a religion. It is the religion of atheism.